hello students today we are going to discuss the second chapter of science for class 5 which is human skeletal system in this topic we are going to discuss what is skeletal system muscles in human body importance of postures and exercises bones and joints in human body care of bones and muscles so what is skeletal system you know that there are so many bones in our body which makes the framework of our human body so all the bones in the human body form a framework the structure called as skeletal system or the skeleton the adult human body has 206 bones fine so the framework of bones in our inside our body is called as skeleton or skeletal system now why this is so important for us this is to give form shape or support to our body these because of these bones we are able to sit stand in uh, on a legs to protect protect the internal organs such as brain lungs and heart heart to move different parts and with the help of muscles so these are the basic three usage or functions of skeletal system that means to shape and support to protect and to move different parts for giving the shape protecting and moving of different parts we uh, we have this skeletal system in our body now you can see this is the skull this is the whole skeletal system we are having in this this above this neck is called as skull this is arm bone these are the ribs then below this we have these girdles and in the back we have a backbone then we have toes bone and thigh bone this thigh bone is the longest bone in our body Now we will discuss the different bones in our body bones and joints in our human body so bones the major bones are skull backbone and rib cage hand and legs fine so we have skull backbone rib cage hand and legs bones the first one is skull skull is made up of many bones this is your skull in which all the bones are there to protect our brain all are fixed except these jaw bones only this jaw bone can move otherwise all the bones in our skull are fixed they are, are not movable only the jaw bone is movable fine next bone is backbone backbone as you can see this is the structure or shape of the backbone it is also called as vertebral column or spine spinal it runs from the base of the skull as we have just seen where the skull has ended from where uh, from there only it is going to be started and it goes down and it has 33 small bones called as vertebrae which are joined see these are 30 three small small bones which are being joined to each other and we can sit stand because of this backbone fine each vertebra these small bones has a hole inside that and inside that hole one uh, one cord passes and which keeps all these bones together so spinal cord passes through these holes and backbone protects our spinal cord these these bones protect the spinal cord which is passing through them next is rib cage this is our rib cage you have already seen it where it is there 
it is for protecting our heart and lungs it is a pair of 12 ribs which uh, that form a cage we it is cage because it is covering our heart and lungs from any damage they are going to protect it they are starting from the backbone and they are not uh, coming together these curved bones are joined at the backbone and the last two pairs are not attached to the front see you can see these are not attached these are called floating ribs which are not attached to each other we have already said they are uh, they are uh, protecting our heart and our lungs diaphragm fine they exp our diaphragm or lungs expand inside them and uh, so after skull backbone and rib cage the next bone which is very important in our body is the limbs that means bones of our legs and hand as you can see these are the arm bone and these are the leg bones the arm bones the arm hand and fingers are called upper limbs so limbs for limbs for arm bones fine a leg consists of femur tibia and fabula the longest bone in our body this is very important you should remember it the longest bone in our body is femur you can see from the diagram this is arm bone which is called as humerus this is the upper side this is radius and this is ulna and here the thigh bone this is femur see thigh bone starts from here and in the mid this one is your femur this is the longest bone in our body and this one is fibula and this is tibia so this is four limb four limb is for arm and hind limb is for the feet now next thing in our body are joints you can see these are the joints where two or more bones are joining together fine like shoulder or this or knees or at this point thigh these are the your joints where two or more bones are joining so we have four type of how many four types of joints first one is ball and socket joint in this we have a socket this is this c shape is of socket and in this a ball type of thing is there bone is there which are coming together to make your shoulder joint as you can see this is the socket and this is the ball this is the ball fine so a ball is fit in the cup shaped socket so the ball and socket joint allows the movement in all direction you can move your arm in all the directions so this joint allows to you to move in all directions so this joint is available in at the shoulder and the thigh now hinge joint you can see where two bones are just together uh, the joint is like hinges of the door like your doors are connected with the socket in the same way here also the two bones are connected elbow knees and finger and toes these are using hinge joint then pivot joint like this is a hole and out uh, in inside this hole there is a you can see if i enlarge it okay this is a hole and in this a, a, a bone is inside it pivot joint the joint is found found between skull and backbone here fine so there is a pivot and is inside it the bone goes so that we, you can move your neck upward downward and sideways then is gliding joint it is in your hand the joint is found in the wrist and ankles these bones these uh, this is found in uh, these bones can slide over each other this is why they are also found in backbone so they slide over each other they can move in different directions after discussing different type of bones and joints next important thing in skeletal system is muscles which is holding together all the bones and joints 
the bones cannot move by themselves they need some support so that they will be remain together so the muscles are made of tough elastic tissues they are attached to the bones by strong fibers called tendons so tendons are the fibers which is keeping the muscles together with the bone so bones are not working alone Mo bones are attached with the muscles and muscles and bones are coming together with the help of strong threads or fibers called tendons fine like you can see here when you are lifting your arm you have here in the forefront you have biceps in the back you have triceps so if you are lifting it this will contract and triceps will expand so depending on the position that you are having the this contraction and relieving will take place you can divide these muscles into three parts voluntary muscles involuntary muscle and cardiac muscle voluntary which are under our control for example the muscle of hand the muscles of feet the muscle of arm which we can move as per our need like if i want to squeeze or open my hand i can do it uh, myself very easily so the muscles which are in our control are voluntary involuntary we don't have any control over these muscles like when we breathe our stomach move uh, forward and backward by automatically we don't uh, move it by our own wish fine so they are not in our control then cardiac muscle you we have already read in first chapter that our heart is made up of muscles so the muscles which are making our heart are cardiac muscles they are not attached with any kind of bone in our heart we don't, don't have any kind of bone inside but outside they are being protect it is being protected by the rib cage now how to take care of our bones the very important for our body yogasana pranayam or any kind of good physical activity is completely necessary for keeping our body our bones our uh, mind healthy along with the exercises a good healthy balanced diet is also necessary vitamin d and calcium are important Ex we get ex uh, this vitamin d by exposing our skin in the morning sunlight and calcium you know that we got from the calcium rich foods like uh, milk egg etc fine then comes importance of good posture good postures is the what is a posture it is the position in which we uh, sit stand or walk a good posture keeps our body fit and our structures remains good so regular exercises and keeping uh, uh, or sitting walking in good posture gives strength to our skeletal system now after discussing the whole chapter it's time to do some exercise questions now tick the correct answer hip and shoulder joints are the examples of we have already discussed ball and socket joint fine muscles are attached to the bones by strong fibers called tendons movement of human body are produced by contraction and relaxation relaxation of muscles another name of backbone is vertebral column the place where two or more bones meet is called a joint fine now some fill ups the dash covers and protect the brain skull the dash protect the spinal cord vertebra the bones are held together by strong tissues called ligaments the dash joint allows the movement of head from side to side pivot joint we have dash kind of muscles in our body three voluntary involuntary and cardiac muscles <laughs>